Hi, my name is Alex Carlucci with Gustin Show Associates. I want to talk to you about an FHA loan and if you've got gaps in your employment over the last couple years. So let's say, for example, you worked at McDonald's for 10 years and then you're off for a year and then you've been back on the job for seven months. That's acceptable employment with that one-year job gap because we can go prior to your job gap and get a two-year history of work and you've been back on the job for six months. So the rule is if you have a job gap six months or greater then you have to be back on the job for six months and we have to go before the job gap and get a two-year history. That's acceptable. Now if you have a three-month job gap or less it's, you just have to be back on the job for a month. So that's the good thing. So three-month job gap's not bad, but a six-month job gap is. Now, if you have multiple three-month job gaps, then that's a problem. We'll probably have to go back and get a two-year history prior to those multiple job gaps, and you'll probably have to be on a current job for six months. That's kind of basics how job gaps work for FHA. So keep in mind, if it's a greater than six months, we have to go back prior to your gap and get two years history. If it's three months or less, just back on the job for a month, and you're good. So give me a call if you have any questions on this at 630-915-7550. Thanks.